Let's get it on. Hey, so when you For this project, we decided to do something a little different than what we traditionally do, and we decided to make a love story. Now, for what we try and create, it's always trying to make something relatable. Getting your first car, what if it was not just getting a car, but instead getting a full-size tank? So essentially, we're trying to supersize the everyday life, make it relatable, but also make it larger than life, and that's where this whole concept came from. In case you've been living under a rock, World of Tanks is a free game that you can play online with your friends in HD on your PC there are a ton of different playable tanks you can use in this game we actually feature the Panzer 2 in our video that is when you can actually play in the game so this is like exciting real tanks that you can actually handle with your friends Yeah, the, the starring boy. You don't have a name. Yeah, I don't have a name, but the starring guy. I'm that guy. First time actually meeting Devin? Yeah. So far, a little underwhelmed, but you know. <laughs> At first, you're annoyed with me. Like, why are you recording me? Like, yeah. Then I hand you the box, just open it. And then that's when you start like realizing what your dad is giving you. So yeah. you're being like really, really excited. Okay. We're getting a fair amount of dialogue. There's cool. not a ton, but there's some, and so we're trying to get that and then also some wild sound probably on the tank in case it rains yeah, just different sounds like that so this is randy beard and he is the owner of these amazing incredible tanks it's passion driven so i've owned tanks for i don't know 10 15 years maybe of a collection and uh it affords a lot of opportunity to do fun stuff like this. I was pretty much born interested in tanks. I was never in the military. I suppose I was too undisciplined to actually be in the military. But I've always been super interested in tanks, always. So the, the main tank in this uh, little short film is this Leopard 1 A5BE. That's the full designation of it. So it's a German-built Leopard, fairly, fairly modern tank, still in active use in some countries around the world. This one was actually used in Belgium. So it's a, it's a very sophisticated tank. It's kind of Cold War. It didn't really see any combat action other than it was sent to Bosnia and maybe Afghanistan just for a short period of time. The second tank we're using, the smaller tank, is a museum quality reproduction of a World War II Panzer II Lux is the designation that they gave it at the time. It's a small reconnaissance tank. It's not really a main battle tank. It was meant to go out and find the enemy and then radio back and not, not really engage in tank combat. It's a very popular tank. They only made like a hundred of them and there's only two surviving in the world right now. There's one in England and there's one in France. Looking for fun. We're hoping, hoping this goes well. No catastrophes. <laughs> yeah, the issue they know is I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. You are? Yeah. I'm playing the girlfriend. The Wait, leading actress. What's the, is there a name? Allie. Allie? Yeah, it looks really fun. You ever been in a tank before? No, this is the first time. And the last? Yeah, I'm probably the last. <laughs> These are dummy training rounds from the Polish army. This is actually for a T-34-85, which is a, another tank that I own. It's a World War II tank. I don't have any dummy rounds for for this so we're gonna we're gonna make do so all of the main guns and all of the machine guns in my tanks are uh, demilitarized or they're disabled basically they're they're cut so they can never you know fireable weapons again these are all believable looking dummies My role is father of a young lady named Shaniqua. 
proud father of Shaniqua. She is a great ballet dancer, and I told her she can't play around with tanks. The weather predicted that it was supposed to be rainy and snowy all day. I mean, there's some kind of some sketchy clouds, but it's been pretty awesome. It's going good. We haven't killed anybody yet. Like that. Well, it's a good thing I'm so skinny. So. Action! Nobody messes with my daughter. <laughs> you son of. <laughs> you ready? Pretty cool. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. I feel like I'm on, like I'm actually going to war. with Spencer and Presley, who are the boyfriend and girlfriend in our short film. So how was day number one, guys? Dream come true. And Presley actually was controlling the top turret of the gun. How was that experience? Yeah, it was scary every time I thought it was going to be wrong, but it was actually really cool and fun, so. And as you can tell, we were all freezing and shaking, and the weather wasn't <laughs> ideal. It was snowing in the morning, and it ended up hailing, and then we were having them have a romantic scene for the movie, eating milkshakes while it was freaking cold. But these guys did amazing. They're incredible actors with well, TMG, so thank you guys for working. Day number thank one, you. and now day number two. Here we go. Day number two, filming with our friends at World of Tanks, and we're gonna be crunching cars today. Doing it all real, doing it all practical, and we're filming in the middle of urban America. Baby. He'll come up on top of this car. Try to get up on top of it. So our boy is got his brand new tank now, and he's going to go out for his first drive. Well, he's parked in a parallel situation with the car behind him and the car in front of him. Not be, not being used to doing this, he's going to back over the car behind us, come over the car in front of us. The two cars you saw get crushed in our videos, those were donated by Pacific Steel and Recycling. They were gracious enough to not only let us take their cars that were already destroyed, mind you, interior, but they also cleaned up the mess afterwards and recycled them and put them to more use. We got it done. All right, so we just wrapped crushing cars. And we found out that on the real movies, like the Hollywood productions, multi-million dollar budgets, they're actually bolting the car to the ground so they don't move at all. So I learned something new today about Hollywood. On to the next location. Got pulled over. Not oh, really, the cops actually were just like super stoked. And then we asked if they wanted to be part of the story. And they were super down. So we're acting like Spencer got pulled over, you know, being 16, driving his new tank. And it's awesome. So they, they were like super willing to be a part of the story. Impromptu, it's unscripted, and I think it's going to add a really cool part to the story, and uh, we're excited about it, so, really cool, really cool moment, <laughs> really funny, so, awesome, cool. Not exactly a car description for a tank. Right now, we have a really amazing image. And it's the couple going through a drive-thru on a tank. So 
know, I tell Randy, hey, I want a drive through So he finds a, a drive through that's out of business, and I, he shows it to me, like, okay, this is good. So I'm like, what if we could get a real drive through So Randy goes into the next door and he makes it happen. What did the manager say when you said, hey, this is what we're doing? Yeah, so I told her that we were using the place next door, which is a, a vacant old Burger King. And we wanted to do some interior shots. So I asked her about that and then she, I could tell she was like, well, you can do the whole thing here. She was really into it. And then finally she says, my kids love World of Tanks. They play World of Tanks all the time. They're into Devon Supertramp. Freddy's Steak Burger, super thanks to them stepping in and supporting us on this project. As we were working on this video, we could all tell on set that there was something really special about it. So we wanted to give it that special treatment of an all original song. So I reached out to my friend and filmmaker and musician, Scott Wynn, also known as Scott D.W., and I reached out to him to compose an all original song, and that was the song featured in our video. So Spencer and Presley crushed it. Now these are two incredible actors, actress. How was your guys' experience working with World of Tanks Project? It was so much fun. I had a blast riding in the tanks. How was it different than what you expected? Well, I knew there was a tank, but I wasn't thinking it was gonna be this big, and I also wasn't thinking I was gonna be riding around in it. So that yeah. was that was pretty cool. Randy was a huge part of making this project happen. We were filming this on his home turf here in Grand Junction. So what was your role besides just providing the tanks, driving the tanks, what else did you do on this project to make it happen? I pretty much did all of the uh, pre-project organization of finding locations and getting all the approvals and all the necessary yeses that we needed to travel the streets and go through gas stations and uh, go through drive throughs and crush cars in residential areas and whatnot. So it could have gone bad in a lot of ways, but fortunately, for us it didn't everything went our way um, any final last words how was the experience working with everything oh it was a ton of fun i've been dying to do something like this forever and like i said a fantasy project is something i dreamed about so it was awesome it was love a win-win but yeah we love Great working with randy there. and just like old times and the plan is we can do more videos like this with world of tanks guys so hopefully you guys are paying attention to this super thanks to world of tanks for making this dream project happen they are a free game you can play on pc with your friends now they gave us a promo code that you guys can use to get a ton of goodies. That promo code is TANKMANIA right there. Now definitely check them out down below in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. Over and out. Goodbye.